When two materials are rubbed together, they may become electrically charged, giving them the ability to pull or push other objects. There are two kinds of charge, positive and negative. Objects with the same charge repel each other. Objects with different charges attract each other. We can demonstrate this with this balloon. If I rub the balloon against my wool sweater, then it becomes electrically charged, so it'll pull on the wall, and that lets us stick it up to the wall like that. Good basic static electricity. Now, what right. do we have here? Uh, we can show it with this plastic rod. Rub a plastic rod with some fur, and it becomes charged, and then I can use it to pull this can, soda can, that way, and then here we go back again. At the beginning, you mentioned there are two different kinds of charges. That's right, positive and negative. And we can show that with this electroscope here. If you rub plastic like this or this with fur, then the plastic becomes negatively charged. Why don't I give you that and you give that a rub? rub That'll it. be negatively charged. All right. And give this a rub. Okay. It'll be negatively charged. Then the two negative charges will push on each other Let's and we'll it. see that push away. And push back Excellent. the other way. At the other end of the electroscope, we've got a glass rod, and I'll give it a rub. When you rub glass with wool, it becomes positively charged. So now we've got a positive charge here. You give me the negative charge on the plastic. Whoop. And now this should pull, because the negative charge on the plastic will pull on the positive charge on the glass. And now I'm going to pull it back again like this. Come back. There it goes. There she goes. So what we say is that like charges repel, they push on one another, but unlike charges attract, they pull on one another.